So before getting into running high queries, let's have a look into how we can actually start um, using a, a typical Spark SQL command as part of a, a programming language uh, Scala using Spark Shell. You can launch the Spark Shell the way we have done earlier. I just say master yarn and com spark ui dot port. You can add as many control arguments as you want. It doesn't change. Uh, if you just want to uh, use spark context as part of the certification, just run this command. Okay. And then uh, as you have already seen, SC is the spark context and SQL context is nothing but um, high context, which is created using this spark context. Okay. So if you want to run any SQL query, you can use SQL context. So we have seen many queries uh, earlier, uh, like uh, creating the database, using the database, creating the tables, so on and so forth, right? So now, if you want to do the same stuff uh, in Spark Shell instead of uh, Spark SQL, what you can do is you can use SQL context dot, there is a function called SQL, okay? And in that, you can uh, run whatever command you want. It can be create database command, what we have ran. It can be use, so, so on and so forth. So let me take this command. And hit enter. So now the, uh, now the SQL context is connected to Hive database called retail db txt okay and if you want to list the tables you just say show tables the same high query which we have run to list the tables and if you just run this it will actually return data frame if you want to if you want to get the information printed on the console you can use the dot show and it will list the tables in the database there are three tables as of now, customers, order items, orders. And uh, uh, you can uh, even run select queries directly from here. Select star from orders, limit 10. And then show. By default, it prints 20 records. If you want, you can uh, increase the, to the number you want. Okay, by default, it shows 10 records, not 20. You can see the data here. Okay, so this is how you can actually uh, run a Spark SQL command as part of uh, your Scala program uh, using uh, the SQL context. And you can run any valid um, high query in it and it will work without any issues. Uh, in, there are some exceptions where uh, some of the Hive queries cannot be run in Spark context because Spark is a bit behind Hive. Uh, apart from those, 99% of the scenarios, you can actually run the uh, Spark SQL queries without any issues. So now we will actually go back to the Hive and uh, look into these things, which are nothing but building blocks to write very effective Hive queries. <laughs> 